What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So what a lot of people want to know about is cannabis stocks. I've seen a number of people in my live streams talk about this and they said, hey, you know, what's going on with cannabis? Do you still think cannabis is a play? Um, there's a lot of things that go into cannabis. And if you didn't know the situation, I'll break this down and then give my overall thoughts about the sector. So before I start, please hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure that you get your free stocks with Webull down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description as well for credit cards, for my store, all of that stuff. But let's go ahead and break this down. So we have a number of positions here. We have Tilray, we have CGC, we have ACB, APHA, we have uh, CRON, and we also have Sundial. So there's others that we can look at. Um, I wanted to focus on really Sundial and maybe Tilray. This is where people bring a lot of information from. Also, um, APHA is something that people like to um, look into as well with a lot of growth. So with all of the cannabis sector, you could see that they all had the same similar um, movement in their uh, price, you know, in the in the candlesticks, um, basically looking at a 10,000 foot view, you can see this is Sundial, this is uh, CRON, this is uh, APHA, this is ACB, and this is CGC, and this is uh, Tilray. You can see all of the same movement. Yes, some of them are more than others. Obviously, we can only focus on certain areas for uh, these positions. And as you see some start to drive up, more people start to go to it. So things that you, you notice, you see Sundial that actually had a similar movement to Tilray, right? And APHA, both, both look like, um, uh, or all three look like they had similar increases. Mainly Tilray and Sundial look exactly the same, right? So the main thing that was going on with it was that it was being pumped and dumped. You had a number of people that were getting into this saying that cannabis is the future, but it wasn't really something that they were like, cannabis is the future. It was like, how high can we uh, bring this price up so that we can decrease that price and take our profits, right? And that's what they did. They moved uh, Sundial from basically that less than $1 mark all the way up to $4, close to $5 here, right? That's a huge increase to where they can take their profits, bring that price all the way back down to where it was normally, and then start to um, fall on that trend again. The same thing with Tilray. You can see them move from um, that $15 mark, even lower than that as you start to get down here towards that $8 mark. Um, and then it starts to increase to, to $77, which is huge, $8 to $77 a huge amount that it increased, but then you see this large fall, within one day, a large fall. That's a pump and dump. Yes, you pumped it over a number of days, but you dumped it all in one day. That's how you know that it is a pump and dump. Um, and then you could also see that it falls in line with all of the, with the uh, history, basically. So looking at those, looking at the sector, looking at Tilray and looking at Sundial, you can see exactly what they did and what the plan is for the future. Cannabis positions, I believe are, the future, not really like the overall future. Obviously, you have technology, you have a lot of big name companies, and um, that would be the future. But yes, you do have a lot of you know push towards this sector, towards the cannabis sector. A lot of people are wondering what stocks they can get into when it comes to cannabis stocks, and these are looking really good. I understand that you know looking at um, that massive increase, the massive decrease, it doesn't really look that great. But if you totally take that off the map, if you totally wipe that out and say. I don't even want to look at this anymore. You can literally wipe over that and continue the trend um, going up. Yes, it does go down a little bit with the stock market taking a little bit of decreases. Yes, it does go down, but you're going to see it mainly start to creep up. In the beginning of uh, yesterday, it was creeping up, right? That's what I that's what I look for there is that little creep up that it did have, and it's going to continue to push above whatever trend line I do build. So Sundial, I believe, can move from um, that $1.38 mark up to $2. You can see that it had a couple of days where it did increase, you know, pretty much up there. And even here, you know, pretty much up there increased, right? So are we going to see it continue to uh, grow? Are we going to see it get over $2? I think in the long term, you're going to see something really good um, with Sundial, um, something that you can swing trade, something that you can gain a, a a decent amount of money on. I don't believe it's going to be something that's pushed like it was before. If you're looking for that quick push, this is not the stock to get into. There's a ton of other positions that actually are being pushed by, you know, other like Reddit forums or, you know, Facebook groups or whatever um, that you can get into and you can actually make some money from. But when it comes to these positions, 
like Sundial, like Tilray, I still believe in what they can do. Um, they're gonna follow basically this trend line. You can see exactly what they're doing. Following that trend line, continuing on the way up, it's gonna be a slow grower up to $30, up to $35 after a number of days, up to $40. And you may see some pumps to where um, a lot of people are starting to get into the cannabis stocks again, the cannabis sector again, and then they end up dumping it. Just make sure that you get in at the right moment and you get out at the right moment because if they do decide to dump it, you need to know when they're looking to dump it. When you see that massive decrease, you take your profits and you go, um, especially if it's a swing trade. If it's a long-term investment and you're looking to invest for you know the, I don't know, a year, two years, three years from now, then you can continue to do that and who cares if it does increase uh, drastically. Um, but I always say that you should take your profits when they come to you. Uh, but I do believe in the cannabis sector. There's definitely a lot of information here. Just looking at the um, charts and looking at the technical analysis, you can see that there is something there. It's not something that will um, be like eye-opening and something that's right in your face. Um, it's going to be something that's just a slow mover, a slow grower. Um, that's what you see with a lot of these positions here. They're slow growers. Um, let me know what you think about the cannabis sector. Do you believe that it's something we should be focusing on? Um, what, what's going on here, um, in your opinion? Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. Don't forget to check out um, my link for Weeble and for uh, my credit cards if you want some referral bonuses, some higher referral bonuses. But I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.